Hey, what it do, what it do? It's your boy Young Chris, 9015 Kicks, back at it again with a new review. Uh, this right here was a pickup over the weekend. This one actually is for the bro cousin Zay. End up uh going into a store and man, they had his size still sitting, so someone didn't pick it up. So definitely uh went ahead and just snatched their jump for him. And uh these are the the Jordan 1 Co.jp navies. Um going to unbox these John see what y'all think about them i think it's a pretty dope shoe the colorway definitely uh my feeling pretty much any blue white and silver type junk and um you know all in all gonna see the materials and see what y'all think but definitely if this ain't the first time to the channel definitely please do like subscribe comment hit that notification bell let's chop it up in the comment section man you know how we do and uh let's go ahead and get to it so they do come in this uh special box at least for this one and the uh the other version um i'll probably do a comparison of those too uh the silver and gray kind of version but um this is how the box looks and here goes the label air jordan one high og co jp and then um this is a size 13 like i said this is for uh cousin zay and uh this reads white metallic silver it's kind of interesting you would think it was said something else but um yeah suggested retail is 170 and you know all the little labels and stuff pop this lid does have like a red stamp right there so y'all see what that is for our legit check purposes um here goes the paper it does have this special kind of paper on it uh 2001 to 2020 because uh that's when the first original version of these released only in japan so i guess it's one reason why they said it called jp but um yeah definitely different paper and uh your paper should look like this if you get a legit pair and here go the shoes definitely dope dope you know what i'm saying it's just you know what I'm saying? So it's a little bit of a big sag, you know what I'm saying? Big foot. But uh, definitely the leather on the tongue, straight plush. Leather on the toe box and the side panels, definitely on point. They got that metallic silver swoosh. And then um, has this real kind of fine, short new buck. Eh, it ain't really got no back and forward feeling to it, at least that I can see. Same thing with the Wings logo, it has that silver uh jeweled like wings logo white ankle collar um blue outsole then of course on the tongue it has that nike air that's embroidered on it does come with an extra pair of white flat laces and it has the oval shaped navy blue laces in it and then um going to the inside you can see right there Little size and label that has a jump man with a code JP up in there. And let's look at this label in here real quick. And this particular pair was produced. Let me see. Pull the shoe tree out the way. I'm trying to focus on that shoe tree. 052720 to 071320. So a couple months. And uh, it actually ain't been too long since they got done doing these. So definitely dope, dope. Um, that's how the interior of the shoe will look. I mean, that's pretty much everything. Ain't gonna be, ain't gonna be nothing different with the other, other shoe. So just go ahead and pull that joint out the box. All in all, I think these are some pretty dope shoes. The materials on this one is not the best. They just kind of basic on this one, I feel like. To me, I still think the silver ones are the better version, at least, um, in my opinion. But hey, you know, to each his own. I think this one is kind of like a Chicago style color blocking. And the other one is like, yeah, like a bread toe. Not a bread toe, but a black toe color blocking. So I'm going to do a comparison and show you all the differences between the two. And maybe not now, maybe once I get my actual pair in the mail. But hey, this your boy Young Chris, 9015 Kicks. We out this junk. Peace. So, so, so.
I got too much sauce. Dripping sauce, dripping sauce. I be dripping sauce. Too much sauce, too much sauce. I got too much sauce.